Hello everyone, it's Dover Praise, and I'm gonna give you 10 tips on how to learn Python in the year 2022. So tip number one, get rid of the I'm too old to learn how to program mentality. It's because you are never too young or ever too old to actually learn how to program. It doesn't matter if you're 35 or you're 41. I've heard of stories whereby people started learning how to program at the age of 41 and you're doing quite well. And it's actually one of the most transformative decisions they've made throughout their career, as they've been able to escape a minimum wage job into a high paying job career. So tip number two, develop your computational thinking skills. You see, programming isn't all about, you know, learning a tool like Python, Java, JavaScript, C++, whatever programming language you've heard about, okay? You see, it's all about developing a skill that allows you to take a very complex problem, understand what the problem is talking about, and then develop a possible solution for that problem. So tip number three, spend quality time gathering quality resources online. You see, we're in a modern age whereby we're exposed to tons and tons of information on the internet. Either they're both free or paid. So just take your time and see which online course or tutorial resonates well with you. If the instructor is able to clearly teach you what you need to know, then just use it. So tip number four, don't spend time learning the basics for too long to start building projects. You see, one of the best and most practical ways that I've found on how to develop your own skills in programming is, to, is by building projects. It can be either a big project or a mini project. So if you're just starting out, if you're new into the world of programming, I recommend to like, after you've completed learning the basics, just pick like a mini project that you can finish within a week or two. So tip number five, learn data structures and algorithms and solve lots of coding problems. So starting out with your journey, you might not really understand how useful they are. However, when you're looking to build like a very optimized solution for either an application that you're working on or an application you're building for your company. You want to understand how to solve problems by using minimum system resources, such as memory or processing time. So imagine like you went on Google and you searched for how to program and you got to respond in like 20 seconds later. That's not going to be user friendly. And by that time, during the wait of like getting your request back, you might just actually just close the application. So keep this in mind. So tip number six, practice object oriented programming, also known as OOP. So you might not understand the importance of it at the start. However, the purpose is to be able to exchange messages within your program. And it also helps when working with a large group of people or when you're working with a large team, as it allows you to take up your huge, long, big spaghetti code and break it down into smaller chunks that are easy to maintain, test, and debug. So tip number seven, create a blog or YouTube channel and a social media account, such as Twitter and LinkedIn, as this helps you keep track of your experience and projects that you've worked on in the past. And in addition, it also helps you to understand the concept well enough to explain it to a wide range of audience who want to learn. And job wise, it sets your standards high and make you visible in terms of employees scouring through your published work to know what exactly your expertise is on. So tip number eight, learn how to work with content management system. 
also known as CMS, like Git and GitHub, as it's a good way to share your code or projects that you've done in the past. And also, it's an important part in software development to actually help you keep track of the changes that you've made, either regarding to a certain feature that you've built. And also, finally, it makes collaborative work way much easier, especially when you're working with a gr small group or a large group of people in your team. So tip number nine. Finding out how to solve problems you can't solve. You see, when you don't know how to solve a problem, you need to be quite comfortable using Google to find similar problems or concepts that will help you tackle that problem. It could be, for example, on Stack Overflow, using a blog post, a GitHub repo, also from YouTube. And most of the times, you might find the exact same solution to the problem that you want to solve at start. And some of the times you might not find the exact same solution. However, what you're going to find is something that is quite similar or more of like an inspiration on how to tackle the problem that you're facing. And my final tip is to keep practicing and try to learn something new every single day. All right, that's it from me for this tutorial on giving you 10 tips on how to learn Python in the year 2022. I wish you all the best of luck if you're getting started with your career in programming. So if you have any questions, feel free to comment below down in the comment section. Like this video if you haven't already and smash the subscribe button so that you get an update on every single time I release a tutorial. That's it. Thank you and goodbye.